So let's start talking about quantity versus qualities. And we all have wishes. For one person, uh, it might be to find a soulmate. For another, to gain a financial success. For the third person, it might be uh, traveling to Hawaii. And I have all of those wishes, right? And you might have more than one. So it can be anything from buying a house to losing weight. And I'm going to tell you today what will work uh, for all type of wishes, how to make all your type of wishes to come true. And the first thing that I want you to remember from today's webinar is that you have to have a wish list. It should be a list and it should be a long list, at least 50 items. Uh, at the end of the webinar, uh, you will know why. And at the end of the webinar, this number will grow from 50 items to 300 items and it will be not as hard as you think about it right now. And uh, you might have a question, why do I need so many wishes? And this is an excellent question. Uh, because of the probability theory, the more wishes you have, the more of them will come true. And um, maybe you've heard a story about a person who was buying a lottery ticket every day and then in um, some amount of time, I don't remember exactly how many years, but he won a big prize. So the probability theory says that the more things Mm, you do, the more wishes you have, the more of them will come true. And um, some of you might think like, um, it's not really, um, it's, it's not really convincing, right? So not, right now, if uh, you want more proof, why do you need to have the wish list? Why do you have to write your wishes and why do you need more wishes? I would like to tell you about the Harvard research. Let me change the slide. So um, Mark McCormick in his book, What They Don't Teach at Harvard Business School talks about a study uh, conducted at Harvard in 1979 to 1989. And the students at one of the courses were asked uh, uh, a question. Have you set clear written goals for the future? And have you made plan to achieve them? It turns out that about 84% of the students had no specific goals, except uh, how to finish business school and relax from studying. Uh, about 13% of the students had goals, but did not write them down. And only 3% of the students had written goals and plans. Uh, 10 years later, in 1989, the same students were asked again, uh, how much money do they have? How uh, they were asked about how many goals they were able to achieve. And it turned out that those 84% who did not have any goals, they uh, earned twice less money than 13% of who had goals. So basically students who had goals uh, made twice more money than people who did not, students who did not. But the most surprising fact was that the 3% who had goals and who had written their goals on the paper they made 10 times more money than the remaining 97%. So I hope that right now you are more convinced that you should write all your goals on a paper and you should have a list because just thinking about your goals is completely different than from having them written on the paper. So if you write down your goals, you can make 10 times more money. You can achieve 10 times more of your goals than you than uh, if you just think about them. So let's uh, talk uh, a little bit about how to make a wish and about the rules that you have to keep in mind when you're making your goal. 